Our food delivery services like Grubhub are a big hit. But not getting high marks from local school districts because for one thing, it's a big security issue. Rod Maloney joins us live tonight in West Bloomfield. And Rod, that is one district where administrators are trying to tap the brakes on the Uber Eats generation. That's right. You know, Devin, Karen, you know, uh, those of us of a certain generation, remember a guy by the name of Spicoli? You know, he had his pizza delivered to school. Well, I asked the kids here, they had no idea who Spicoli was, but they do understand having food delivered to their school during the school day. They love it. The school district, not so much. West Bloomfield High School freshman Nathan Calibet jumped on a delicious bandwagon at school this year. I just hear people say, like, I just got some bomb pizza from Uber Eats. I was like, why not? Here's his receipt from Tuesday, January 29th at 10.08 a.m. Yeah, that's three hours after the school day started. From Leo's Coney, he ordered two any style eggs, French toast, and pancakes, and all that hot food arrived, much to his and his friends' delight. It was amazing. I, I, was, I was like the cool kid of the school for four days straight. How could it lie? West Bloomfield principal Pat Watson says once word of things like that got around. Some days there were 8, 10, 15 deliveries coming. It was nonstop at the front. Anything from tropical smoothies to Panera to Jets, you name it, they were trying to have it delivered. Which prompted him to tweet enough is enough last week, ending the practice. And it's a safety issue. We really don't want people in the building that we don't know. And two, the deliveries typically are on time, so now kids are trying to get out of class, they want to eat in class, and it's just causing a disruption. New technology enables all of this, of course. Vending machines don't see much cash anymore. The kids don't carry it either. And what's more, the phone apps make deliveries all but instant. The clampdown disappointed Nathan. A little. Because I've done it so many times, I was, so, I was kind of surprised. Like, why, why is it stop now? Never did I think I would have to go and say, can you stop having food delivered? Now, Nathan did say he understood these things. Now, one of the things we discovered in this is that it's the parents sometimes who are actually sending the food to the kids, even in elementary school. School districts, of course, don't like this. And in fact, here at West Bloomfield, they're pretty touchy about the fact that they provide good, healthy food for the kids, and it's all available to them in the cafeteria. Back to you. Oh, my goodness, Rod. How prevalent is this? I assume this is happening all over. Well, I, I don't know that it's happening all over. We called a number of school districts today, and what they said was they have rules that say just can't do this. Don't even send somebody to the front door of the school. Um, they have banned it. They've reminded the children. Uh, but one school district told me that the, the teachers can actually get food delivered, just not the kids. Well, enjoy that pizza tonight, Rod. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah.